I had a terrible experience with a neighbor. This experience left me shocked and in awe that these types of things still happen in 2022. We're gonna have a discussion that I wasn't ever going to have and that I wasn't gonna put on YouTube. And we're gonna have that right now. So what we're gonna do is play the clip that I never showed on YouTube that I made last year. I'm gonna play what I said then that was watered down. And afterwards, I'm gonna keep it real about what actually occurred that day. So neighbors really are a mixed bag, but the best type of neighbor is the neighbor that leaves you the hell alone, all right? You're not out here trying to make friends. You're out here trying to start a business. That being said, don't be rude, don't be mean, and uh, understand, especially if you aren't from that area, that you know, you know for the first few years, you really are a guest and you should try to get to know people. But at the same time, the type of neighbors that you want are the type of neighbors that are gonna leave you alone. Give you a wave in the morning, say, hey, how you doing while they get the paper, make terrible chit chat about the weather, then go back into their house and do their own thing. They don't want you annoying them and you don't want them annoying you. That's the best type of thing. Okay, story time. I was going to see a piece of land. Uh, I personally, as I was driving up, I didn't like the curb appeal of the neighborhood and the area surrounding it. And most importantly, I didn't think that my guests who stay on my glam site would enjoy the aesthetics around the piece of land as well. Uh, but either way, I had already drove two hours out, so I was gonna go see that land no matter what. The second I get to the land, the neighbor leaves his house to come say hello to me. Now, I was extremely naive at this point. It was one of the first pieces of property that I was looking at, and I thought he was just trying to say hello. He then proceeds to chat with me for the next 30 minutes about how terrible it's going to be for me if I buy that piece of land. Now, again, he's not doing what I think some people might think he's saying. He's not telling me he's gonna make my life terrible, but he just tells me all the different reasons that I should not buy this piece of land. Uh, he told me that uh, the county road to get in always floods. He said that there's trees falling down all the time. He told me how difficult it would be to put in any type of utilities. I let him know that I'm actually gonna do something off grid. He tells me how terrible that is and how difficult it's gonna be. And it really got to the point where I realized like, aha, you just don't want me to buy this land. And guess what? I let him win. Why? I don't wanna to have to deal with this guy every damn day. I just wanna to get to my land, do my thing. You do yours on yours, I'll do mine on mine. But I realized that was not gonna be the situation if I purchased that particular piece of land. He thought that area was his own to run and own forever. And I'll tell you one thing, that guy definitely deserves a punch in the face. He definitely deserves someone to, to kind of put him in his place. I'm not gonna be that guy. I don't wanna be stressed out. I like looking young. I moisturize every morning. I'm just not dealing with his stuff. And uh, yeah, I got my little mini Cooper and I got on out of there. That being said, I did find a piece of land that I loved. I purchased it. I went and met the neighbors. They seemed like really awesome people. We have this great relationship. I see them every time I'm on my land. We wave from about two miles away. They barely see my hand, I barely see theirs. And we go on about our lives. It's beautiful. So as you saw, the encounter wasn't so pleasant, but I mean, you know, it wasn't that bad. Chill out. Well, what I didn't say in that video was, while I was there looking at the land, another person came and was looking at the land at the exact same time. Then the person that I was chatting with had to do this really, really odd and nuanced thing where he was downselling the land to me, trying his absolute hardest to ensure I won't become his neighbor while upselling it to this other person. It was actually wild and luckily I wasn't alone. I was with a friend going to look at the land and we both just kept looking at each other like, is this really happening? Like, do they think that we're so dense that we can't see through what's going on? I know I'm a city boy, but I'm extremely respectful of other cultures, other regions, and you know, when I'm going into someone else's home. So that being said, I'm aware that I'm not the traditional person who owns a couple of acres of land, who wears overalls when he's out working on his land, who owns a tractor trailer and those types of things. So I'm just gonna hope that that's the reason why this individual didn't want me to be his neighbor and was ensuring that I wasn't going to be his neighbor. It was absolutely crazy. The second the other person came, he absolutely changed up his story. 
he wasn't telling the other person that, you know, it floods all the time and trees are falling, etc. And there's, you're never going to get building permits and all of that type of stuff. So either he is lying to this other person to make them want to get the piece of land, or he's lying to me to make sure that I don't want this piece of land. It got to the point where those two walked away and started having a private discussion while I stayed and started looking at the land, looking at the limits of the borders of the land and all of those types of things. But while they were over there, see them looking at me, talking, and it got to the point where when I left, they didn't acknowledge me, they didn't say goodbye, they didn't do anything. They just kept having their secret private discussion. There was obviously something extremely nuanced going on there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Me personally, I've absolutely moved on. Uh, it's always nice to go somewhere where you're wanted. My current neighbors are absolutely awesome. The farm to the left of me, they're such nice people. They're constantly trying to get me to borrow some of their tools because they see me out there doing it the hard way. Uh, you know, just really rolling up my sleeves and getting dirty with it. And they're like, bro, I, I bought a $30,000 piece of machinery that can do what you're doing in 20 minutes. I'm going to get it right now. So that's kind of where you want to be. And that's where you wanna be in life with everything you have going on, everybody. I mean, you wanna be in a place where you're surrounded by good vibes. If you're not there, change your destination, change where you're going, and you'll be a much happier person. So what's the message of the video? Well, there is none. I would say overall, it really is to take your time and you will get what you're looking for in this world. Don't rush it and don't force it. But overall, I just wanted to be honest with you guys and get this story out there. Cause I'm not the only city boy or Yankee who has recently moved into the sticks. I just really wanted to put this out there to tell the story and to be honest with people. It's not always gonna be peaches and cream like a lot of YouTubers make it out to be. It took me a little bit longer to buy the piece of land that I did get, that I did build my cabin on and I'm extremely happy about it, but I think Taking that time was what's best for me. Be resourceful and take your time. You never know where you're gonna end up. If you're going down the right path though, you'll love where you end up. That actually reminds me of a friend of mine who started a glamping business pretty much by accident. They built an awesome greenhouse, then turned it into a cabin, and now they're making thousands. Check out that video on the screen right now.